What's up everybody? Today I have a tutorial on how to do text rotation in Cinema 4D like I did in my past video. I've had a bunch of requests and also how to import it into Photoshop from um, Cinema 4D. I'll also show you how to do that. Um, so what you want to do is open up Cinema 4D. You go to MoGraph text object and um, you can put in whatever text you want. I usually put in uh, I mean, I'll just put in tutorial. And I always bump up my depth to 200 for whenever I do this rotation, just because I like the way it looks. And plus it goes good with the font I use, because I use uh, Gil Sands MT Ultra Bold. I just like the way it looks. And um, a little tip for doing this, you want to make sure you... Um, I like it better, like it looks better when it's close. You want to move your text closer together before you do anything. Cause then it gets like all nice and like it gets clustered together and it just looks a little better than when it's spaced out. And also, you want to make sure you have it on fillet cap because it looks good when you want to add two different uh, colors. And also, oh yeah, I'll also be showing you how to do uh, two different colors on a text. I'll show you how to do that. So um, then you want to go to MoGraph again. Make sure you have text object highlighted. You want to go to MoGraph again and then you do you click on random effector and see how it gets all wobbled around just uh, make sure position is ticked I just fix this up a little bit so it's not as sloppy but it still looks good decent then you wanna forget about scale um, you wanna tick rotation and you can turn it side to side you can turn it up and down and then this is the good part you can rotate it so uh, there's that and then say you want to add uh, the colors the two different colors we'll just do uh, we'll go red and whenever you're doing a reflection you always want to do freshenal when you click the texture because it looks good and lower down the brightness and the mix strength a bit because it just looks a lot better and we'll put that on there add another one We'll make this one black because we'll make the background black. And you want to put that in there. And then you want to put the first one you have, go down to selection in the tag tab and click cap and uh, type in capital C in a one. And then that way it makes the background of it the black color, oh, not that way. You want the black to be first and then the red to be second. With the red being C1, then you render this out. And then the front is red and the back is black. So you want to make sure your the color you want in the front has to be in the far right with the tag as C1. And then the color you want in the back has to be in the front side. And now to render this out, into Photoshop without the background you want to go to your render settings um, I have a preloaded preset for this uh, general full render output I use the preset um, you go to film video and then HD V HD TV 72025 I find that the best and then <clears throat> You save it to you know wherever you want your path to be. Now the format. This is where it's really important. You want to do QuickTime PNG. Just in case you don't have a PNG up here, you go to QuickTime PNG and then you tick Alpha Channel. It gets rid of the background. And then also if you have like if you're adding a bunch of glow to it, you want to go to Ambient Occlusion, which is in Effect, and you click Ambient Occlusion. It adds a really nice reflection effect, and it's just really nice. So once you have all that set, uh, make sure you click it. Get this all whichever way you want it to be facing. And then you render it out. And I'll be back once this finishes rendering. Alright, it's finished rendering now. So uh, you want to go to File. Uh, you don't have to do this if you uh, saved it to a regular destination, but I never typed it in. So uh, Save Picture As, PNG, Alpha, OK. And then uh, desktop, we'll do tutorial. 
then here it is. You just uh, double click it and it should open up in Photoshop. So let that load up. There's the work in art. See? Uh, no background, color, none of that. It's got uh, just plain text. And you can add some uh, lights up, you know, on the tops or whatever, so it makes it have a better reflection and whatnot. But, um, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can add wherever you want, you know, background, just, you know, let your mind go crazy. If you have any more requests for a tutorial, like in Cinema 4D or Photoshop or any of that, just post in the comments or PM me or something. And if you want a background, just, you know, inbox me, I'll make one for you for free. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, see you guys later.